FB tweet. Pinterest email send text message print. Kate Middleton and Prince William have been immersed in Bahamian culture during their visit to the Caribbean country, from a lively Junkanoo Street Festival to sailing on the azure waters of Montague Bay. For their final day in the Bahamas on Saturday, the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge traveled to Abacos Main Island and visited a fish fry, a quintessentially Bahamian culinary gathering place that is found on every island in the Bahamas. During the outing, William and Kate met vendors who prepared a taste of Bahamian cuisine, including the local favorite, conch salad. That was lovely, Kate said after sampling the conch. The Duchess of Cambridge even stepped behind the counter to make conch salad herself as Jade Adderley, a vendor at the fish fry in Dundas Town, Abaco, looked on. I'm not as fast as you, Kate told him. They also met locals on a royal walkabout. They were especially attentive to the younger children who came out to meet them. At one point, William brought a young photographer to meet Kate. Kate, who is an amateur photographer, chatted with the young girl about her camera and they looked at her pictures together. Earlier in the day, they learned about the impact that Hurricane Dorian had on the islands of Abaco and saw how communities are still being rebuilt more than two years later. The next and last stop on their final day in the Bahamas, and of their week-long Caribbean tour, will be to Grand Bahama Island to meet with one of William's Earthshot Prize winners, Coral Vita, and see their groundbreaking ideas for restoring and preserving reefs. Although they have received warm welcomes from many locals during their visits to Belize, Jamaica, and the Bahamas, they are also encountering mounting tensions in the Caribbean nations where William's grandmother, Queen Elizabeth, remains head of state. The rising tide of social and economic justice movements, including calls for slavery reparations and indigenous rights expansion, are rapidly reshaping contemporary views of the monarchy at a time when it is in transition, as Elizabeth, 95, marks 70 years on the throne, William, 39, and Kate, 40, are increasingly the modern face of both the family and the institution. By Erin Hill at Erin Hillney By Simon Perry